So we're going to learn Rooster in this video, and we're going to start by putting our guitars in D-sharp tuning. The first chord, which is going to be an F-sharp position. So index finger, second fret, E string. Ring finger, fourth fret, A string. Pinky finger, fourth fret, D string. And then your middle finger will be on the third fret of the G string. And then your index finger is also pressing down on these two right here on the second fret of the B and E strings. So uh, so you're really barring all the way across, but you're not. So you can have some kind of arch in your finger, right? But you're only hitting this, this fret on this string and these two, right? So you're not really fretting all of them. So don't feel like you have to fret all these strings. It's only this one and these two. And you'll naturally do that because the fat in your finger, whenever you're pressing this one, you just bring it down, pull it back a little bit, right? So when I say pull it back, bring it down and then pull it back. Pull your hand back. Fat part of your finger right here on these two strings. And you don't have to cleanly uh, fret the rest of them because you're going to put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string. Your pinky is going to be on the fourth fret of the D string. And your, and your middle finger is going to be on the third fret of the G string. So those strings are already pressed down, all of them basically. So in your head feel like you're barring only these two with your index finger. You're only barring these two strings right here on this fret, second fret, the highest two strings. That's it. That's all you're barring. The rest is fretting with your fingers. So that's to get the clean, you know, chord through. And, you know, I hope that helps for people who are struggling with the bar chords. You don't have to bar the whole thing across. The, uh, the second part of this chord structure uh, in the song is they're going to lift this index finger, right? You're going to lift the index finger and keep everything else the same. And that's part two of the chord. So it's part one, 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 two. And then you're kind of, then you're going to come up to the fifth fret of the E string and everything else follows and do the same exact thing again and it repeats go to the bridge so that's eight times on the B uh, position right here so your index finger is gonna be on the second fret of the A string your ring finger and your pinky are gonna be on the fourth frets of the D and G string you can make that power chord with a flat pinky. Catch a, another string up right there. The fourth fret of the G string. And the B. And then you move that same position up to the fifth fret of the A string. Your, pink, your index finger is going to be fifth fret A string. Everything else is on the seventh fret. So eight times each chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dun, 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 dun. So the uh, 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 is just open and then you're going to fret that whole 
whole chord that you were the second part of the first chord, right? That. So you're gonna go. But when you do this, you're gonna leave these two open. So don't don't bar them. You're gonna leave every your, everything is gonna be fretted at the fingertips for this part. Otherwise, you're gonna have. But it's not. It's, and then uh, the second part, the second time they do that, they're gonna go. second part of that first chord. And then you're going to go to A, and you're going to finish off A with the top two strings, the, the B and the E on the fifth fret with your pinky. And so to play it through will sound like this. is all their octave power chords all the lead is so uh your octave power chord is going to be your index finger on the second fret of the a string and two frets up and two and two frets down is going to be the fourth fret of the g string and that's where you're going to place your pinky those are going to be the only two drop my pick those are going to be the only two uh strings you're going to you're going to play when you're playing this this lead, so how do you how do you avoid playing all these strings? Only these two, right? Use your fingers, uh, your fatty fingers, right? So when you when you fret the second uh, fret of the A string, you're gonna use the top of your index finger to sort of mute that E string. bottom part of your index finger to also mute the D string, right? Because it's just under it. So all you have to do is lower, lower it just a little bit. Instead of like that, lower it a little bit. Now, now I'm... Now when I hit the D string, it doesn't ring out. And when I hit the E... ringing out is the one I want. So, and then for the, you'll, so you'll come up to the D string on the fourth fret with your pinky, and then you will mute uh, the, the B string just behind the pinky, right? And then you don't really need to mute the high E string because your index finger will be muting it pretty much so it's so it's I'm hitting every string but I'm only allowing these two to ring out so the lead will go and and just follow the when I, when I say each fret we're only talking about the index finger 
and everything follows. Two frets up, two strings down. Two, one, two, four, four, two, four, one, two, open. And then the two open is two on the E string and four on the D string. And then two on the D string and open on the E string. And then you mute the A string with the top of your index finger. Then they play that a second time. Then the third time when they play it, they're going to come up the neck a little bit. Then they're going to come up to seven. Seven, nine, seven, nine, twelve, nine, seven. with it. And then they go back to the chorus or the bridge. That's a whole lesson. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click like and subscribe if you will, because it's a really small channel and I really need to grow this thing. Uh, but yeah, if, if, if everything was helpful, if there was anything helpful, especially, please leave it in the comment section. If there was anything that was not helpful or especially not helpful, leave that in the comment section as comment section. It might be a comment section, but please leave it in the comment section as well. And I would love to uh, to hear what everybody has to say. And I want to improve these videos as I go, make them better for you so you can learn easier, quicker, faster, and, uh, and enjoy it while you're doing it. All right? So uh, much love. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. See you.